It's Sexual Assault Awareness Month. The campaign aims to raise public awareness about sexual assault and educate society on how to prevent sexual violence. The campaign is coordinated by the National Sexual Violence Resource Centre of America, but the month is recognised internationally. Sexual assault is a very serious problem and survivors of such acts may be at risk of developing severe mental health complications. As with most traumatic experiences, survivors of sexual assault often report feelings of shame, fear and guilt. Here are some of the potential psychological conditions that can develop as a result of sexual violence. Depression and anxiety. A survivor's loss of bodily autonomy can result in intense feelings of despair, a reduced sense of self-worth, and in some cases, severe anxiety or panic attacks. Some survivors may develop phobias, such as agoraphobia or a chronic fear of the type of person who harmed them. For example, somebody assaulted by a blonde man with blue eyes may be distrustful or fearful of men who match that description. PTSD. Survivors of sexual assault may develop post-traumatic stress disorder. This is often characterised by flashbacks to the event in question. A survivor may also develop a related condition called complex post-traumatic stress disorder. This often yields a fear of abandonment in addition to the typical symptoms of PTSD, as well as potential personality disruptions. For more information on PTSD, take a look at our programme, Post Traumatic Stress Disorder, a 30-year case study. The link is in the description below. Personality disruptions. Survivors of sexual assault may develop personality complications, such as borderline personality disorder, as a way of adapting to the trauma. Addiction. Research suggests that survivors of sexual abuse are 26 times more likely to use drugs. Survivors often use drugs or alcohol to avoid or numb the pain of abuse, but substance abuse often results in the development of other problems. It's important to speak up about these issues, and if you or anyone you know has experienced sexual abuse, we encourage you not to feel shame about seeking help. Notify the authorities, talk to loved ones for support, and if you have concerns about yours or anyone else's well-being, you should contact a mental health professional. Therapy offers a safe, dignified and private environment to open up and address the feelings you have or any specific conditions that may be identified. We have listed numerous sexual assault and mental health resources in the description. Just remember, you are not alone and your mind matters.